This is the continuous lecture of lecture 2. We shall know about unit cell and primitive cell from this lecture. Let's start by taking a familiar example. Students, all you have seen the bricks wall. There, brick is the smallest portion and its repetition forms that wall. Now come to our topics. We have already familiar with lattice. See the diagrams. It is the diagram of two-dimensional lattice and it is the diagram of three-dimensional lattice. In this diagram, I have drawn some figures 1, 2 and 3. In this diagram, I have shaded a portion. Look, the repetition of any one figure makes the whole lattice. And repetition of this portion in different directions makes this 3D lattice. So we noticed from the both diagrams that lattice has also a smallest portion and its repetition makes the whole lattice. This smallest portion is called the unit cell. Thus we may define the unit cell as the smallest portion of a space lattice which can generate complete lattice or crystal. By repeating its own dimensions in various directions is called the unit cell. This is a three-dimensional unit cell. In three-dimensional space lattice, there are three primitive translation vectors, vector A, vector B, and vector C, represent the sides of the unit cell. The parallel pipe with sides A, B, and C along these three vectors, vector A, vector B, and vector C, constitute the unit cell. The entire three-dimensional space lattice can be built by repeated translations of the unit cell through integral multiples of the vectors vector A, vector B and vector C. The shape and size of the unit cell of a crystal are determined by the length of its sides A, B and C and the angles alpha, beta and gamma between them. The lattice translation vectors vector A, vector B and vector C and the angles alpha, beta and gamma are known as the lattice parameters. The lattice vector, vector A, vector B and vector C may or may not be equal. Also the angles alpha, beta and gamma may or may not be right angles. Depending upon A, B and C and alpha, beta and gamma, there are seven different crystal systems. They are triclinic, monoclinic, orthorhombic, hexagonal, trigonal, tetragonal, and cubic. Now we define a primitive cell. A primitive cell is a type of unit cell which contains only one lattice point at the corners and is minimum volume unit cell. This is also a primitive cell. Look, each corner contains a lattice point. If we placed a lattice point inside the unit cell, the unit cell is not called the primitive cell. So it is not necessary that the unit cell should be equal to the primitive cell. 